Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be starting like a new mini series on my channel. So my good friend Heather Austin on YouTube does these kind of videos all the time and I love watching them. And I know she's not the only person who does them at all, but nonetheless, I love watching them and I've never done them. So I am going to be taking various... So I'm going to be taking various... What's the phrase? So I'm going to be taking various categories of makeup within my collection and I am going to rank them from the worst up to the best. This video is going to be ranking my entire blush collection. So let it be known, I do declutter my collection fairly often. And if I really don't like something, I am pretty quick to pass it on to a friend, to sell it, to whatever I need to do. So if I have this in my collection, it means I don't hate it. It's just the worst out of the best. Does that make sense? I'm going to be ranking these based on consistency, based on texture, based on how I like the way they feel or if I like the pigment that they give. I'm not going to be ranking these based on color because like for example there might be one where I have four colors of blush that are the same exact formula. I'm just going to be ranking them as a whole. I have 18 total. Let's jump right into this. At number 18, whew, we're going to start with a little bit of controversy. We're going to start with a little bit of tea because this is, I am pretty sure, one of the most successful blush launches that has ever happened in the history of ever. It is probably one of the best selling blushes to this day in the history of ever, but it's not my favorite. And that's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Blushes. I like these. They are nice, but they're by no means my favorite. To be fair, I do favor a more cream blush over a powder blush, but in the case of powder blushes in general, I just feel like these aren't what I want them to be. I feel like they go on a little bit dusty, a little bit powdery, that you have to be a little more careful with these and that the pigment will just go everywhere if you're not more careful. I do understand there's a huge variety of colors and a lot of people like that and you do get a decent amount of pigment in one swipe. I get that people like that, but just, it's just not my favorite. It's okay, it's okay enough for me to keep it in my collection but it's still at that okay level where this is winding up number 18 out of 18. Is it weird that I'm like apologizing to the blush? Like, I'm sorry, in a Marie Kondo kind of way? Like, you've done good. You're doing a great job, sweetie. This next one, I admit this is probably something I should declutter for my collection because I wanted this to work so badly but it just doesn't work that great on me. And that is the M Cosmetics Serum Blush. So I only have one color and it's peachy peach. I love the idea of a serum blush, something lightweight. And when I saw the ad for these showing how buildable they were and how beautifully they went on the skin, I was so pumped. But I feel like these come out so sheer. First of all, this little plunger dropper never works. Like, I, I don't know if you can tell, it picks up absolutely nothing. Look, that that is what came out of an entire plunger. And it looks like it would be beautiful, right? You can get that sheen. But like as soon as you blend it out to your whole cheek, right? I feel like it's, I mean, it looks like it's there. I feel like it does. But on my cheek, it just doesn't work very well. But of course, now I'm looking at my hand and I'm like, well, of course I can't declutter it. That's so pretty. This is why I have a problem. So this is still in my collection, but I just feel like maybe it takes more work than I'm willing to put in. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm just a lazy ass. And that's why this is number 17 out of 18. This is more just like you have to build it. You have to foster it. You have to be kind to it. And maybe sometimes I just don't feel like putting in that work. So the M Cosmetic Serum Blush is number 17. All right, we have our first official cream product at number 16, and that is the Stila Convertible Color. So you are meant to be able to use these on your lips, on your cheeks, but technically, couldn't any of these products be used on your lips, your cheeks, your eyes, your butt, whatever you wanna use it on? I'm sure it would work out just fine. This is nice. The only thing that is a little net to me, which is why it's further down on the list, this is so emollient that it tends to fly off my skin. And I have very dry skin, so you would think that it would hold on, that it would look beautiful, that it would blend out nicely. And it does blend out nicely and it does look beautiful, but I feel like after maybe two hours, it's just completely gone off of my face. But I do still like the effect it gives. I do like the way it feels. I like the way that it's not drying my skin out. So that's why it's still in my collection, but yeah, it's just not going any higher in this position. At number 15, okay, do you have your finger 
hovering over the unsubscribe button because if not, you're going to want to get your finger ready because you're all going to unsubscribe after I tell you that it's the Tower 28 cream blushes. I do like this, again, why it's still in my collection, but it's similar to the Stila Convertible color to me in that it's so emollient that it fades off my skin very quickly. I do not find this to be as buildable as I would like it to be, but it does look beautiful when it's on the skin. It is like a little more... I was gonna say hardcore and that's not what I meant. It's just like, it is a little more dry than the Stila Convertible color. So it does hang on slightly longer, but it doesn't last all day for me and I don't know what it is. I do really like the packaging. <laughs> I like that Tower 28 is a cleaner beauty brand, but it's just, it's not my favorite, but it's nowhere near my least favorite. I still do like this. This next one, I only put it this far down my list because I only have one color if I'm being fair and I feel like this color only has really specific purposes, but I do love this product. This is the Essence Blush Lighter. So this is a gradient powder blush. You can see it's much lighter on one end than the other. I usually run them all together and put them on my cheeks, but you could easily take this as a nice warm color and this as a nice highlight. It's a really, really beautiful product. Again, I do feel that it's a little bit lower on my list because this color does not go with a ton of stuff. But again, I'm not judging completely on color. This also can be a little powdery to work with. Not as powdery as the Tarte Amazonian Clay, in my opinion, but it can be a little powdery. So you just wanna be a bit more gentle if you're using this product. But I, of course, I love the price point of this. It's much lower than some of the other high-end blushes that I have. But yeah, this is just like, I just love the look of this. It's very shimmery. It's got a beautiful sheen to it. I really enjoy this. It's just not at the top of my list. This next one, I do have a few shades of this, so I'm able to judge <laughs> based on more than one shade, but this is the Ofra Blush Duos. So this usually has a shimmery blush, if you want to call it that, or a highlighter, depending on your skin tone, and a regular powder blush. This is, again, one where I feel like it can go a little dusty if you're not careful, but I really do like their formula. I feel like it's a little more emollient of a powder formula, so it does stick to your cheeks better, but it doesn't look patchy. It's not my favorite formula in the world, which is why it's sitting, what number are we at? 13, number 13. But I do, I do still really like this. Um, this one is the Chiclet Duo that came out with the Samantha March, her first collection, and I do really enjoy these. At number 12, I'm not even sure I've ever mentioned this product on my channel, but it is one that I like, especially if you need to be out the door real quick. And this is the Burt's Bees All Aglow Sticks. So the shade that I have is called Blush Bay, and it's this kind of rosy pink, but you can see in the center how there's like that lighter area. That's what makes this emollient, and it is so super, super emollient, super easy to use. It's got a beautiful kind of sheen to it, but it's not glittery, it's not shimmery at all. I just, I really do enjoy this. Um, again, the only reason why it's not a little bit higher on the list is because with a stick formula, I like to just be able to swipe it on my cheeks. And with some others that you'll see that are a bit higher up on the list, I like it to not mess up any foundation that's underneath. This one is a little bit more firm of a consistency, so I did find that sometimes it will take off a little bit of the foundation underneath, but if you wanna prevent that, you can just warm it up with your finger and tap it on, which is what I do most times. But yeah, this is a really, really great drugstore option that's easy to find. It's very inexpensive, and I really like it. And number 11, this is another one I think I've only mentioned once on my channel, but I do enjoy it. And that is the Tarte and Sugar Rush Cream Blushes. These are known as Beach Cheeks. And this shade is Ocean Girl. So I feel like I have so many shades that are fairly similar to this color where it's that um, just cool toned pink. And I really feel like this is a universal shade for one. They don't have many shades of this. And that's one of the main reasons why I did rank it a little bit lower on the list, but the consistency is really nice. It's emollient, but not so emollient it flies off your face, which I think is beautiful. It looks great applied with a brush. It looks even better applied with your fingers if you can get that kind of warmth from your fingers. Also, I'm sorry, but the packaging, it's just so cute. And I know I shouldn't judge favorite blushes on packaging. And I think this is the only one, one of the only ones that I judge based on packaging. Okay, there's, there's little judged based on packaging but I really like it. So if you haven't tried the Tarte Sugar Fix line, I would definitely give them a shot. They are aimed definitely at like tween girls, but um, I'm a little bit far from a tween girl and I still love it. 
All right, we are in the top 10. At number 10, it's kind of interesting to me that I have this product so far up on the list because not only do I only have one color, but I only have a sample size and that is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek. So again, this is one of those sticks that they're like, oh, you can use it on your lips and your cheeks, but you can, you can do that with any product. But this is a great little stick. This is a little more matte than a lot of the sticks that I have, but it goes on so creamy and blends into the skin. I love how I said it was matte, but look at that shine. Maybe it's not matte at all. <laughs> Either way, it warms up so nicely on the skin. This specific color is in Work, W-E-R-K, and I just, I really enjoy it. I like the way it stays on my cheeks. I like the way it feels. I like the consistency of it a lot. And I do feel like this is one that you can build up. So what I've done is I will warm it up with my fingers and I will tap it on. I will wait maybe 60 seconds and then you can pat on another layer and it blends out beautifully. It doesn't look patchy, anything like that. So this is a product I feel like I don't hear get talked about much. And yes, I still keep like all the little protectors on all of my cream products just to keep them lasting as long as possible. But yeah, this is such a great product. Are you guys starting to guess? what's gonna be like number one or number two or number three. I'm sure some of you will be able to guess some of it, but let's move on. At number nine, this one is fairly new to me and I don't know if it's considered a blush technically, but I'm gonna call it that. And that is the Nabla Skin Glazing. So for example, this color here is called Truth and you can see it's very shimmery, it's very beautiful. And on some skin tones, this might be just a highlighter, but on me, this is definitely a blush. It's very pinky, it's very peachy. It is so shimmery. Look at the shine just on my finger swatch. And I just, I'm in love with this already. I got this during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale and I already want every color they have. This is what I want in a powder blush. It goes where you need it to on the cheeks. It blends out, it lets you layer, but it's not dusty everywhere. It's not like you pick it up on your brush and it just flies everywhere. That is such a pet peeve of mine because as somebody with dry skin, that to me also means it's gonna be patchy as fuck on my skin. This is not. This is absolutely beautiful. Again, the shade is Truth. I really like this. So tell me your favorite colors of the Nabla Skin Glazing down in the comments below. I need more. At number eight, we have the Melt Powder Blushes. So I have two shades and I like these for the way that you can build them up. That's the main reason that they are so high up on the list. These build so beautifully. And again, they're not dusty. I just, I love the way these build up. Now I'm wondering if the Nabla should have been higher on the list. I'm going to stick with the list I have. I'm going to stick with the list I have, but I really do still enjoy these. I only have two colors. I have Honey Thief and I also have Cali Dream and I like to layer these. I love to just use these as an easy blush situation. They're just very comfortable to wear. And again, so easily buildable, so easily blendable. I really enjoy these, but they're definitely, they're not in the top five, but they're up there. At number seven, we have another Melt product. So these are the Digital Dust Duos. Look at the packaging. Again, I know I'm not supposed to judge on the packaging, but I'm gonna judge on the packaging just a little bit, okay? I'm just gonna open a random one because I feel the same way about all three. These are stunning. They have high shine, they have high pigment, so they are, you know, easy to put on and go again. They are not something where you need to build and build. You can make these sheer if you want to. That takes a little bit more work because again, these are very pigmented, but like the duos together are just, look at the shine on them. They are so intense. So if you're looking for a matte situation, this is not, this is not where you want to be. This is so beautiful. I look like a freaking Boy Scout talking about this. Do I get a badge, a blush badge? Like that would be, can I have one? Can someone make me a blush badge? But really, I do love these. I have all the colors that they have. I hope they come out with more of these. These are so stunning. So if you like a shimmery blush, these are something you absolutely should have in your collection. At number six, we have an oldie but a goodie, and it is a cult favorite for a reason, and that is the Milani Baked Blushes. The one I have here is the ever-famous Luminoso. Again, it is famous for a reason. This is a lovely shimmery pink. Um, again, when I say shimmery, anytime I say shimmery, I don't mean that there's glitter in it because I'm not somebody who enjoys glitter in any of my cheek products personally. I like a shimmer, I like a sheen, but not glitter. 
but this is so subtly shimmery that shimmery shiny that you almost wouldn't even notice it until it hits the right light like you can even see the color there this is so buildable it's so lovely it's just I really feel like it's something that everyone should have whenever I have friends that are not really into makeup because I have a ton of friends most of my friends aren't into makeup if we're being honest whenever they're like look I need a new blush what should I get I always recommend this one first because it is affordable to most people. It is a beautiful color that I feel like looks stunning on any skin tone. I just feel like this is an easy situation. So, and I keep saying situation. I've been watching way too much Kate the Great Beauty, okay? And it's rubbing off on me. You should all go watch Kate the Great and say these things with me. But anyway, this is just a really fantastic cult favorite for a reason. I just, I absolutely love it. Ooh, we're in the top five. Ooh, ooh, girl. At number five, again, I don't know if this is technically considered to be a blush. I think this is considered to be a highlighter, but on me, it's a blush, so that's what I'm calling it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand, and I have this in Pinkgasm. So I hate, 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 hate the applicator, which is this little fuzzy puff ball, but the color that comes out of this is so incredibly beautiful. As you can see, it's very pink, but look at the shine that comes with that. This formula is almost hands down like one of my favorites, obviously, because it's in the top five, but it's just so stunning on the cheeks and it just makes you glow, but there's no glitter in this at all. There's not even any shimmer. There is just shine and it's so stunning. This product is on the more expensive side, I believe it's $38, but I've only bought one tube of this, and every time I think it's empty, there's way more in here. So I do think that it is worth the money 100%. I love this. I love it. And I want the peach gasm too. I want more. This next one, number four, um, my packaging is dirty because I use this a lot. These are the Glossier Cloud Paints, and these are, you know, cult favorites again. These are liquid serum blushes. So these take a little bit more patience, I would say, but I want you to see how little, oh, that's a lot actually. I put a lot on my hand, doesn't look like a lot, but such a little bit goes such a long way with these. Like the color on this is so beautiful. There is a sheen to it, but again, it's more of a glow and not a sheen or a shine. It just looks healthy. It makes your skin look beautiful. There are so many colors. It's so affordable. I genuinely love everything about these. I feel like people talked about these so much for so long and now not so much, but I just, I think they were revolutionary in what they did. I love the texture of these. These are just so high up on my list. Love it. Whoop, top three, whoop, whoop, top three. This is one that I don't know if it's gonna surprise anybody, but like, I don't hear enough people talk about this. I genuinely don't. And I think that you are going to love this if you try it, okay? Just give it a shot. So this is the Cheek Color by Merit, okay? They have a handful of colors. This color is terracotta, and it just looks like a normal cheek stick. But do you remember how I said that some of the other cheek sticks wiped off the foundation underneath? This one doesn't because it is so beautifully emollient that it just stays where you need it to stay and it lasts. It's so hard to see. Maybe I'll just go straight on my hand here. <laughs> there you go. It does last for me all day and I don't understand how because some of my other more emollient products, they're gone in a few hours. This one is there all day and the colors are so beautiful. Now Merit is based sort of in minimalism. So everything is supposed to be for minimalistic makeup, which I'm not exactly a minimalist, but I adore this cheek stick. I do wanna get more colors. If you haven't tried anything from Merit, give them a shot because yes, while they're based in minimalism, I do also feel like a lot of their products could be your everyday favorites. And this is definitely one of mine. At number two, this might be kind of a cheat because these are palettes and not all of the consistencies or formulas are the same in general, but the Natasha Denona face palettes are my number two. I adore these. I am gonna show you the one right now in bloom. First of all, I just love the packaging. I feel like it's so chic, but what these have, this one has a glow cream base. It has a cream blush. It has a Glow Extreme Highlighter and a Duo Glow Blush. So I love the formulas of 
all of these. They are stunning. This glow cream base, first of all, they also have like a little plastic cover that keeps your cream safe. This glow cream base, if I swipe it, it's gonna show nothing. Yeah, it's just very, very shimmery. I love to put this under almost all of my blushes and it gives it just that little glow from within. Even if you wear no other makeup, if you just put that glow base on your cheeks, it just makes you look healthy and alive. And I just, I love all of these formulas and the fact that you can get four formulas in one really compact palette, that puts this so damn high on my list. I feel like for convenience, this is beautiful. I feel like just the quality is next level. I adore these. And let me show you also the Love Cheek Palette. This one, oh, look at that. It's the Love Glow. You see how the glitter is falling? It's so pretty. So this one's a little bit different in that it does have that same glow cream base, a different color, but it also has a super glow highlighter, a glow impact powder, and a diamond powder. So even though they're different formulas, I do put them under the same category because like there's just so many cool things that you can get from these Natasha Denona face palettes. I love mixing and matching them. Just, I really feel like these are underrated. I love them. And number one in my collection, could you all have guessed this? I'm sure you probably could have, but the Melt Cream Blush Lights. I have every color they make as of right now. The second they come out with new colors, I will buy them all because these are hands down my favorite. There is not a single color in here I don't use. I use these so often. Which ones should I swatch for you? I'm gonna swatch my favorite. When it comes to cream blushes, these are hands down my favorite formula. They are both emollient, but long lasting. They are not patchy. They are buildable. These are the creme de la creme to me. And Lynx is my absolute favorite color. It just looks straight up gold, right? But it works for me as a beautiful blush. Look at that, that like warm orangey tone. The sheen is so stunning and these last all freaking day. I adore these. I know I sound like a broken record when I talk about these, but I would highly, highly recommend you purchasing them. And we are coming up on the Sephora VIB sale, so I would stock up and buy every color they have. So that's it. Those are all 18 of the blush formulas I have ranked from worst to best. How many of them were a surprise to you? How many of them have you never heard of? Do you disagree with the places that I put any of these on the list? Let me know in the comments down below what your all-time favorite blush formula is. And while you're at it, let's talk a little shade. Tell me what your least favorite blush formula is. Let's, you know, help each other out in the comments and recommend good stuff. But I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I do want this to be a series, so I'm going to rank maybe the eyeshadow palettes in my collection. I'm gonna rank the lipstick formulas in my collection, the lip gloss formulas in my collection. Let me know which one you would like to see next, but I love ranking everything. I don't know why, but it gets me like mm, buzzing. If you like this video, I would love if you give it a thumbs up. That really does help out my channel. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.